Dr. Omar Zakhilwal, former finance minister of Afghanistan, is now joining us. Thank you for your time here, Dr. Zakhilwal. Your first reaction to the cabinet that has been announced today, and we have ministers who have, you know, who are in fact experts in in carrying out road bomb blast, who have like a five million bounty on their heads, and most tragically, not a single woman representative in this cabinet. as was promised by the taliban earlier well uh, first of all uh, no doubt that it is a taliban government therefore um, it's not an inclusive government political wise or ethnic wise or gender wise or professional wise um, it's not been balanced but at the same time um, it is an acting government um, it is um, um it responds to the short term needs because it's been now close to a month um and the institutions were not functioning um there was enormous uncertainty and all these difficulties and all that um they, they were under tremendous pressure they had to respond to that um they had to fill those positions and the easiest thing for them was to fill them with their own um having said that we certainly um will be interacting with them we have been interacting with them for a government um to be um, um let's say a foundation for peace and stability in this country it will have to be politically inclusive it will have to be ethically inclusive there must be women in it um and it must also um uh, conform um to the standards of the international community um, so um we are in those discussions um right now we remain optimistic um that it will lead us in that direction and we take we do not take um the announcement um by the taliban of their government to their acting the same ministers yesterday as the chapter close and this is it that we are getting no uh, we should be expecting that this should not be it that it is something for the interim it's something for immediate but but um, um, for a government to call it permanent or to 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 call it more long term then there will have, will have to be inclusivity you know uh, dr zakil wala i want to ask you siraj hakani is a specially designated global terrorist how can we expect and how is this really going to happen how can other countries engage with a designated terrorist you know countries like india for example are looking at ways of establishing ties again with the country in which we had invested so much in the past but to deal and to engage with people who are designated terrorists how is it going to be possible well not only siraj haqani if you look at it uh, all of the taliban were designated terrorists hmm. um on the namo bagram uh, presence and other presence were filled with with these leaders and with their fighters um they were being killed um in fought against in very recently but yet not only with all the taliban leadership of which the haqqani are part of it but with the haqqani family as well um the rest of the world interacted the the agreement that was negotiated um between the us and and taliban in doha um siraj haqqani brother was there his relatives were there his people were there um and in every meeting by western countries and other countries india might be an exception here um they met um with the taliban leaders they included um uh, members from the haqqani family so we need to reckon with the reality um taliban are reality in this ground um taliban has been accepted as a reality by the west by the entire west by the entire the rest of the country that why they have been engaged with them and that's why there was a push um from the international community and also from within that uh, a peace settlement is reached between the taliban and the rest of the political side and that's how here we should take it we cannot judge um uh, let's say today um uh, by what it used to be 20 years ago 10 years ago 5 years ago or even a year ago mm-hmm. so we have to accommodate to that you know uh, dr sakilwal in all of this i also want to ask you what about uh what about the role of women in all of this and did you expect or did you really expect from the taliban that when they were saying that we will want women to join the government uh, they were sincere when they said it 
did you actually did you actually buy that argument by the Taliban or are you not surprised you see um it is not whether whether the Taliban are okay with it or not if Taliban it have if Taliban have it their own way then we know their thinking they are of course um previously when they were here uh, women were marginalized um but today's Afghanistan is not the Afghanistan of 25 years ago uh, women have come a long way they have their own independent voice um and, and they're going to stand for it um but we also support it a normal society is not going to, uh, to marginalize their uh, their women particularly in the 21st century we'll stand by them we'll we'll, we'll be advocates of their rights of their educational rights their political rights um uh, their their uh, business rights um um and 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 that will represent that's not only important for women it's, it's mm-hmm. important for yeah. the country it's important for for the people as a whole if i go out there and i see only men and no women out there if we go to offices and it's only men and no women it's not normal um we need to be normal finally the imprint of the isi extremely clear before all of us is there on the cabinet um again i'm not privy to the discussions that is taking between mm. the taliban within the taliban or between the taliban and other actors um right now it seems like the taliban are in full control um, they have meetings among themselves um i don't think a government um that is um that is based on a extremely narrow foundation uh, is helpful to itself and it i don't think it's going to be helpful to pakistan either um because it's going to be a recipe for further chaos further um let's say instability and instability is in nobody's interest in this neighborhood um so um uh, again i'm i'm not privy to to to, to private discussions or i'm not an intelligence person i'm a political person i'm a politician and and i was stated as a politician um in my interactions with pakistan and in my interaction with india with my interaction with other regional countries i it is in their best national interest to be supportive of peace and stability in this country and peace and stability in this country only come when we have a fully inclusive um arrangement for governance um that we know we do not give way to grievances and 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 then reasons for for future uh, fighting and instability in opposition um so that's how I'll, how I look at it all right uh, dr omar zakilwal thank you so much uh, for joining us and sharing with us your perspective on that important story that we're tracking from just across the border here